first portage of the trip. This is the 950, 980 out of Kiosk into Maple Creek. It's a beautiful day. The water was like glass. Bugs are out, not very much, but not biting. And Scott decided to take the boat for the first load, so. <laughs> so, trip's off to a great start. Scott, where are we? Hmm. We're at Pleasure Pond. Pleasure Pond, Pleasure Pond. on Maple Creek. It's so far, it's pleasurable. <laughs> all I got in here is a spare, a spare pair of underwear. That's all you need. Cuban fiber? What do you got going on here? No. Yeah. Right. There you go. Hey Scott. Yo. Where are we? Uh, we are hmm, skinny dip pool. Skinny, skinny dip pool. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Not skinny dipping? No, no, he's got. <laughs> Word, Scott?
goodbye, Opiango. You wet, miserable beast. Sunday Lake. Sunday Lake. So a lifetime ago, Mr. Rogers stayed on this site with who? The Meanies. The Meanies. Second leg of the Meanies Lake. Uh, no, it would have been the first. No, the second, yeah. Second. They all string together. <laughs> Jeffrey and I were hung up in hammocks over here. Behind the tree? Behind the tree. <laughs> Jeffrey didn't want to get up as usual. Had to drag him out of his hammock. Had some delicious pancakes. John Scarlett was up early making pancakes. pancakes. We we're getting our grub into us because we knew we had a race coming up, which was that three and a half kilometers into Opiongo. Which you single carried in 90 minutes. 65 minutes. 65 minutes. Who was the first one across? John. John. So Scott <clears throat> was telling me a story that John Scarlett wrote a poem here. And Scott likes it because he's in the poem. And in the poem, John is making pancakes for breakfast. And he calls out to Scott, who's sleeping in his hammock lazing in his hammock, I guess, and he says, hey Scott, where's the grill? And Scott replies, it's behind the tree. <laughs> to which Mark and John, I guess, looked at each other and just started... Down, hysterical laughter. <laughs> Ten minutes. Barely standing up. Behind the tree. Well, that's a good memory. How are the bugs, Scott? <coughs> oh, they're, they're okay. They're not bad. Yeah, I don't know what people complain about. They help keep you moving. <laughs> Where are we, Scott? We are on the shores of the Mosquito Coast. <laughs> Beautiful. As we were paddling across the waters that come up against the Mosquito Coast. I came up with our team name. We're officially going to be called Crazy Old Coot and the Snot-Nosed Kid. Was it Crazy Old Coot? I think it's just Crazy Old Coot. Crazy Old Coot. Snot-Nosed Kid. We are on the Portage Trail to, I don't know, Highway 60? <laughs> Civilization. There are a few hardy souls at the Rock Lake Camping Ground. They're braving the bugs in their RVs. 
I suggested that Scott goes and has a shower and launders his clothes. I think I'm clean enough. I don't think you're a good judge of that. I think you're filthy. I think you're filthy and you could do with a good scrubbing. Rock Lake. Where are we coming from? Where are we coming from? Civilization? Yeah, we haven't seen anybody. We didn't see anybody on this trip from kiosk right through to Happy Isle. And there was some out of place people camped on the Happy Isle portage. Nobody on Rock Lake, nobody on Penn Lake. A couple fishermen on Spruill and that was it. I think we're the only people in the park right now. It seems that way. And, and I don't see a swarm of bugs around you. Bugs been nothing to worry about. No. Certainly nothing to keep people away. At least of my worries. Wait a minute. Are the bugs. What are you worried about? I'm worried about being dismembered and put in that. <laughs> yeah. I have no plans to murder and dismember you, Scott. Come on. I was just, you know, I was just talking. I was spitballing. Just spitballing. <laughs> no plans to murder you. Come on. Shake your head. the mighty South Madawaska River. We're lost. South Madawaska River.